أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتع علينا فتوه العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد My dear brothers and sisters and friends I greet you all with the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of His creation. Today in our program, I want to share with you uh, some of the special honors that God Almighty bestowed on the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon him. It is amazing how God Almighty presents the Prophet Muhammad in this Quran. It starts off with this dua of Prophet Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Sayyidina Ibrahim. Uh, God Almighty commanded him to build the Kaaba, this first house of worship on this earth for the worship of God Almighty. And so Sayyidina Ibrahim, Prophet Abraham, and his son Sayyidina Ismail, Dabihullah alayhi salam, uh, the Prophet Ishmael, built the, the Kaaba. So his son Ishmael is helping the father, Sayyidina Ibrahim, to build the Kaaba. They completed the building of the Kaaba. And then uh, Sayyidina Ibrahim, Prophet Abraham, uh, Ibrahim salam, made some special dua or supplication to God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And among uh, this dua or the, the, the many dua that uh, Sayyidina Ibrahim made to God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was uh, the dua uh, that God Almighty would send to this place, Mecca, uh, to the people of this place and anyone who's connected to the Kaaba, send to them a special messenger from among themselves. Rabbana wa ba'ath fihim rasulam min anfusihim, God Almighty reveals in, in the Quran. So, uh, Th this is the dua of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. And then God Almighty waits for approximately 3,000 years because uh, Prophet Abraham was about 4,000 4, years ago in Mecca. And then 1,400 years ago, the Prophet Muhammad sallam came. So God Almighty waited for about 3,000 years before he answered the dua of Prophet Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salam. And in the Quran now, God Almighty s tells us that he sent this prophet from among the, the people of that place to, to, to them to, con to convey the signs, the revelation from God Almighty, to teach them wisdom, uh, to bring them out of darkness into light. And that was the dua of Prophet Abraham. And the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in, in a hadith, in a prophetic statement, he says, Ana da'wa to Ibrahim. I am the, the product of the dua, the supplication or prayer of Prophet Abraham. 
And I am the glad tidings that was given by Prophet Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him. Because in Surah Saf, uh, God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in this Quran that uh, Isa alayhi salam told his disciples, told the, the Hawarin, his followers, that they will come after me, a messenger, a prophet. His name is Ahmad. The, the name of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is mentioned there. Ahmad is uh, one of the uh, many names of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it comes from the same root word of Hamida which means to praise or to be praised. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Muhammad mentioned this that he is uh, the product of the dua of Ibrahim Alaihi Salam. But God Almighty when he revealed uh, this ayah, this verse in the Quran, he's, he he says, "Lakada manna Allahu ala al-mu'minin idh ba'atha fihim rasula min anfusihim." Lakada manna Allahu ala al-mu'minin. That God Almighty bestowed this gift, this special gift, the greatest of gift, the greatest of bounty to the believers when He sent to them this messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, from among themselves, doing all the things that Ibrahim had asked for and more. But uh, God Almighty presents the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a gift from him to everyone. So this is how the Sahabas related to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was this special gift, the greatest of gift, the greatest of bounty from God Almighty to them. And so they loved him greatly. And they were willing to follow all his teachings and his example. They would lovingly do that. And this now has to be our relationship with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, this gift from God Almighty. Now, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, God Almighty in this Quran, is presenting this gift to us. And he's telling us something about the nature of this gift from him. The most special gift that he can give to any of his creation is to give them the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so he unwraps this gift for us in the Quran by telling us about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And inshallah, in today's program, we'll mention some of these beautiful, amazing honors that God Almighty bestowed on the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so that we can understand something about the, 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 the essence and nature of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu so that we can benefit more from him. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, a faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, those who mention Allah profusely are given by Allah forgiveness and great reward. As was narrated in Hadith Qudsi, I am present with those whom are engaged with my mentioning as if I was their companion. And he also said, those who mention Allah in a unique way are rewarded with the greatest rewards. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. 
one of the scholars of Islam mentioned this uh, wonderful phrase, al-ilmu sultan wa huwa silahul mu'min. Knowledge is power and it is a weapon of the believer. So because if you have knowledge of Islam, then you can practice Islam, you would know what is correct and you can do what is correct. And so uh, you need to commit yourself to travel, traveling on this journey of knowledge. The Prophet Muhammad says, Man salaka tariqan yal timisu fihi ilman sallallahu bihi tariqan ilal jannah aw kama qala alayhi salatu wasalam that if you go out searching for knowledge on this path of knowledge, then God Almighty will facilitate your path to jannah, will make your path easy for you to jannah if you go out and make sacrifice to seek knowledge of deen, knowledge of Islam. And so I want to invite you to bring your children and register them for the Islamic school program, the weekend school program at the Islamic Forum every Saturday uh, from 10.30 in the morning until 3 p.m. Uh, you can contact the Islamic Forum for further details and uh, bring your children, youth, teenagers and so on to join the program. We have special adult program every Friday evening for Quranic studies and Islamic studies uh, and uh, many other programs throughout the week, halakas and advanced program uh, featuring a wide range of subjects from Arabic language, uh, Quran and Tafsir and Tajweed and Tahfid or Hifs, uh, Hadith studies, Ulum of Hadith, Islamic history and Sira. A wide range of subjects are available. Uh, to benefit from. So we want you to come out, join the Islamic school program uh, every Saturday, bring your children out next Saturday and register them for the Islamic school program. The Mawlid or family program continues. We have the nightly Mawlid every night at 7 p.m. and then we have a special weekly Mawlid on Saturday evening starting at 6 p.m. We hope you can join us today uh, at the Islamic Forum 6 p.m. for the special family program and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you. The special honor that God Almighty bestowed on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this gift is unwrapped for us by God Almighty in this Quran, in his revelation, as he describes the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon him. So God Almighty says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ in Surah Al-Anbiya. Uh, and we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as a mercy to all the worlds, to all of creation. And so God Almighty chose the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to be this manifestation of divine mercy on this earth for the creation of God Almighty. So God Almighty dispenses his mercy to his creation through the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. God Almighty is declaring this Quran and we have not sent you except as a mercy to all the worlds, to all of creation. And so the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is this manifestation of mercy for all, from God Almighty for all the creation of God Almighty. So th this is a great honor that is bestowed on the Prophet Muhammad because God Almighty has chosen him, the Prophet Muhammad, to be the manifestation of design, divine mercy uh, and to be the distributor of div design, divine mercy to the creation of God Almighty. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And so the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is described as Nabiyur Rahma, the Prophet of Mercy. Imam Tirmidhi mentions in his Kitab al-Shamayl that God Almighty gives each one of us a portion of mercy, an amount of mercy. And we display mercy in our lives based on the portion of mercy that we received from God Almighty. And so you would know that different people have different levels of mercy that they would show or display with others. There's some people who are very merciful, very kind, very generous, very soft-hearted uh, in, in their treatment of others. Uh, and, and you love those people because you know they, uh, they would be kind and, and gentle with you, uh, merciful to you. They have this rahmah in their heart. And then there's some other people that you may know that they're harsh and cruel, hard-hearted, 
You don't, you don't like to be around such people. They don't have that mercy. People display mercy in their lives based on the portion of mercy they receive from God Almighty. But the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu tells us of the secret of increasing your portion of mercy from God Almighty. He says in the beautiful hadith, Hadith al-Rahma, Ar-Rahimuna yarhamuhum ar-Rahman al-Tabarak wa ta'ala irhamu man fil ard, yarhamukum man fil sama. The, the, those who show mercy will receive mercy from God Almighty. So therefore, show mercy, display mercy to those who are in this earth. So who, he who is in the heavens, God Almighty, will give, would show mercy to you. You will get more mercy from God Almighty. If you display more mercy, if you are more merciful to people, God Almighty will increase the portion of mercy that you have. So you become even more merciful. That's the secret. For you to be merciful, don't be harsh, don't be cruel, uh, don't uh, try to exact revenge from others and so on. Be merciful, be kind, be soft. This is the way of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he's the best of believers. He's the best of Muslims. No one can be better than him. No one can be a better believer, a better Muslim than him. He is the best of Muslim, best of believer, the best, the closest to God Almighty Allah subhanahu wa taala, and he was merciful. Therefore, be merciful. Be merciful. The Prophet is described by God Almighty in this honorable way. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ he is, he is this prophet of mercy. He's been sent as a mercy to all the creation. And this is how he lived his life. And this is how we should follow in his footsteps. To be people, men and women of mercy, of rahmah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with that rahmah. واللي فقد عز النصير ولم أجد إلا كعونا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, O you who believe, when you hear the call to Jumu'ah, hasten to make the mentioning of Allah. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Friday is the best of days that the sun has risen on. And he also said, there is an hour on the day of Jumu'ah, or Jumwa, during which the prayer of a Muslim is answered. It was narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A hajj that is accepted by Allah cannot be rewarded with less than paradise. It was also narrated, Those who visit me in my grave and make salam to me, Allah will return my soul to me so that I can return their salam. It was also narrated, he who makes hedge, and during which does not transgress in word or action, will be forgiven his sins, to become sinless like a newborn. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Juma'a, the Friday congregational prayer, is a special symbol of Islam. Every week, Muslim, Muslims gather together for this weekly congregational prayer, Salatul Juma'a. Uh, and it's a great blessing that God Almighty has given to this Ummah. And you should be mindful not to miss Juma'a. And so I want to invite you to come out to the Islamic Forum next Friday, 1 p.m., uh, for the special Jum'ah experience at the Islamic Forum. 
uh, tell others, invite others to come with you to the Islamic Forum for Jumaa. Ah. If you're not able to attend the Jumaa the Islamic Forum, the, the khutbah will be available on the Sheikh Faisal YouTube channel. Go to the, the YouTube channel and you can listen to the broadcast of the Jumaa ah khutbah as well. But we, if you're able to, if you're within commuting distance of the Islamic Forum, we invite you to come every Friday, 1 p.m., uh, to the Islamic Forum for a special Juma experience, Juma program, which starts 1 p.m. every Friday. We have a, a special program uh, tomorrow, uh, which is the Sacred Knowledge Seminar. This is a special, intensive all-day seminar. We have several times in the year. The theme for uh, tomorrow's Sacred Knowledge Seminar is Signs of the Day of Judgment. We want to invite you to register uh, now, once the program is finished, contact the Islamic Forum. You can go to the Islamic Forum website, islamicforumonline.com, and register online, or you can call the Islamic Forum and register uh, as well. The volunteers will be there to help you or to get back to you, leave your name and number if uh, they're not able to take your call at the, when you, when you uh, phone the Islamic Forum. But we want to encourage you to uh, come out to this program. You have to pre-register. If you're not registered, uh, you may not get a seat in the seminar because seats are limited. So please con do that today. Contact Islamic Forum today to register for the Sacred Knowledge Seminar. Signs of the Day of Judgment. What are the different signs of the Day of Judgment? The, the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned uh, these signs in the Quran. Some of the signs are there as well. They are minor signs. They are major signs. What are these signs? How can we benefit from this knowledge? How can we protect ourselves from impending problems and difficulties uh, that may come our way as part of these signs and how can we uh, benefit in, in a good way and protect ourselves and protect our families uh, but with this knowledge of signs of the day of judgment. Uh, so we invite you to register for this special program. The honor that God Almighty has bestowed on the Prophet ﷺ, we mentioned them and I want to say something more about mercy that God Almighty sent him as a mercy to all of creation. And, and for us now, we should strive to inculcate this quality, this attribute of rahmah, of mercy in our lives as well, and, and show it to others. And I want you to start with your family. Uh, show mercy to your children. Be merciful to them. Be kind and gentle with them, your children. Be mindful how you, how you treat them. Uh, Show mercy to your parents. No matter how young or old you are, you have parents, show them mercy. Especially if they're alive, uh, then you need to honor them and be kind to them and be merciful. Show rahmah to them. God Almighty commands us to do this in the Quran. Uh, don't wait until it's too late for you to do that. So be merciful to your children. Be merciful to your brothers, your sisters, your, your family members. Uh, sometimes we are harsh with those who are closest to us. Be mindful about that. Uh, you, you want to show mercy to your brothers, your sisters, and all members of your family. And then to your relatives, to your friends, to members of, uh, of the Muslim community, and to everyone in society. Anyone who, con who comes in contact with you should, uh, should feel your mercy, should experience, should, should be blessed with your mercy, the kindness, the softness you have to them. This is the way of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, and this is how uh, I want you to be, each and every one of you, be a man, a woman of mercy uh, in everyone, uh, towards everyone that you interact with. Uh, start with your family first. Charity begins at home. Start with your family first. Be merciful to them and then extend it to other relationships that you have with others. Be merciful. This is the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us to be men and women of Rahmah, of mercy. <laughs>
حبيب الله سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك Help us make this dream a reality. We need your financial support. Please donate generously. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. God Almighty uh, honors the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu in this special way in the Quran. Another example of this is the revelation, the ayah that's revealed in Surah Al-Ahzab, the third uh, chapter number thirty-three in the Holy Quran, where God Almighty says, "Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim min rijalikum, walakin Rasul Allahi wa khatam al-Nabiyyin, wa kana Allahu bi kulli shayin alima." Here, God Almighty reveals to us that the Prophet Muhammad is Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah, wa khatam nabiyin and the seal of all prophets and messengers. So God Almighty describes the Prophet alayhi salatu Prophet Muhammad in this amazing way, declaring him to be the Messenger of God, Rasulullah. Uh, and so it is the Prophet alayhi salatu that delivers this special message from God Almighty. But the nature of the message is also described here when he says, And he is the seal of all prophets and therefore he came with a final message for all of humanity. This is a, the unique way that the prophet, prophet is honored by God Almighty in this Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us to follow the message of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Remember the sacred knowledge seminar tomorrow, Signs of the Day of Judgment. Uh, contact Islam Reform to register. We hope to see you tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning for the all-day intensive uh, seminar on Signs of the Day of Judgment. Uh, we want to thank all our donors that have donated to the Islamic Forum uh, in the re recent past. Um, uh, special thanks to the families in Ottawa. Several of them donated to the Islamic Forum. We hope you can make a monthly pledge to donate uh, to the Islamic Forum. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs>